Hi everybody, my name is David Allen. I'm a Partner Solution Architect at Neo4j and today I wanted to make a short video showing you an easy way to upgrade from the Neo4j 3.5.x series to 4.0. There's a lot of new features in 4.0 and the upgrade process is fairly straightforward and quick as long as you know what you're doing. So I'm going to start off with a really simple community database and we're going to do this example today based on community and standalone rather than causal cluster. If you're using Neo4j Enterprise, the process is going to be very similar, but this video is only going to cover single instance upgrades and not causal clusters. So just to get started here, I've got Neo4j Community running in the background, version 3.5.14. I've got Browser over here, which is telling me the same, and I've got a little bit of data in here. The sample graph that I'm going to be migrating today is a graph of cities and countries. So in this particular graph, I can query for the country of Germany and then see all of the cities that are associated with that, as well as information about you know, their capital and their latitude and longitude information on the map. So really simple graph. Today, the instructions that we're going to be following are in the Neo4j operations manual. And so if you want to refer back to anything that I'm talking about or why I did the things that I did, head over to the Neo4j official documentation, hit the operations manual, and then go to section 8.2, upgrade a single instance. So what I'm going to do is cancel out of Neo4j 3.5 and basically stop that from running. And over here in the finder, I'm running on a Mac right now, you'll see that I have a Neo4j community 3.5.14 folder. I'm going to go one level up, and then I'm going to extract the um, 4.0 package so that you know that I'm starting cold from an absolutely new 4.0.0 install. Over here in Finder, you'll see that I've got the new 4.0 folder. Now, so the first thing that I'm going to do is take the entire contents of the data folder right here, uh, which can to, uh, includes databases and DBMSs. And I'm going to copy that content and put it over into the, uh, I'm going to get rid of that same content out of my fresh 4.0 install and replace it with what I had from 3.5. Okay. This is what's, this is the operation that's moving the bulk of the data, but we're not done just yet. So when we moved from 3.5 to, to 4.0, the actual store file format that the database uses changes. So what we're going to do next is go into the 4.0 directory and we're going to edit the configuration file. And you'll see that inside of the, up, the, the configuration file there's a setting called allow upgrade. This is disabled by default because you don't want the database accidentally changing files on disk if that's not the appropriate thing to do. But we're trying to migrate so I'm going to uncomment that and this, what this is going to do is when I first start Neo4j 4.0, it's going to actually change the store format um, and upgrade it to the 4.0 um, structure. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to connect our old database to this new concept of 4.0 multi-database. So under 3.5, let's go take a look at the folders. We'll be able to see this. Under 3.5, under databases, you'll see that it was always called graph.db. Now, 3.5 didn't really have the concept of multi-database, and so graph.db is not the name of a graph. It just happened to be a convenient folder name to store your data. Under 4.0, uh, you can have many databases, um, but the databases have to follow a naming convention, and in general, they have to be longer than three characters and can't contain any special characters, including dots. So a way that people get tripped up right here is that although we've moved these files over, Graph.db is not a valid Neo4j database name under 4.0. So what we're going to do is we're going to just going to change that and call our default database Neo4j. All we did was rename the folder there. Inside the configuration file, I'm going to uncomment this line, and you're going to see that DBMS default database equals Neo4j. Um, in this way, when we start it, the 4.0 database is going to know to uh, to use that particular folder. The next thing to take a look at is the version of Java and the JVM that we're using. Under Neo4j 3.5, a lot of folks were using a 1.8 runtime. 
When you upgrade to 4.0, it has a hard requirement on Java 11. And so if we use the wrong JDK or JRE to, to start Neo for J4, then you're going to see really strange errors in the logs and it's just not going to work. So as a separate step, you're going to need to make sure that you have a Java 11 VM installed on your machine. Now I'm using a Mac and so when we install multiple different versions of Java, we can see them by using this user libexec java home uh, command. And so what I want to do is switch my working environment to Java 11 and I can do that with this particular simple command right here. Um, essentially I'm just setting the Java home directory to point to my Java 11 JVM and I can verify that that works by typing Java dash version. Okay, now we're all set up and ready to start Neo4j Community 4.0. We have moved our database files in place, changed our configuration, and verified that we're using the right JVM. So let's just go ahead and type Neo for, bin Neo4j console to start Neo4j 4. Looks like it's starting up just fine. Ah, look at this. It says migrating store files migrating full text indexes, migrating schema indexes. The reason the database is doing that is because we told it to upgrade the store file format. And so now that that's done, let's see if we can get this working. I'm going to go to localhost 7474 again. And let's see. And there's my data. There's Germany and all of the cities that are in Germany. Let's call dbms.components. And there we go. We've got Neo4j Community 4.0.0 with our full data set. Hope this tutorial has been useful. Remember that if you missed anything, of course, you can always rewind. But there's a lot more detail in the deployment and upgrading guide on the official Neo4j documentation in the operations manual section. Hope this has been useful and see you next time.